Okay, so this video is about how you add images to your project. So let's say that I want to add some basic shapes. So you don't have to Google for just basic images like squares and lines. Um, I might want to add just a really simple rectangle somewhere. So I would click this shape tab and right here I could create my rectangle. Okay, I can make it any size I want. Um, when you have created a shape, you can move it around and you can also edit its color and its border. So the color is what's on the inside, the border is the line that goes around the outside. So I want this one to be a really nice rich red color, I think, and I would like the border to match it. Um, so maybe I would like another line as well. Um, I want a box that looks the same, but I want to change the color. So I'm going to hit control C, then I'm going to hit control V and it just created a copy of my line for me. So now let's say I want to make this one a really nice blue color. So I'm going to do that. So that's all about basic shapes and lines. And again, you can manipulate this a little bit, move it around. But you can also add more complex shapes. I just don't want to do that right now. The other option you have is adding an actual image. The other option you have is adding an actual image. So what you're going to want to do is look at this image button. If you click on that image button, you have a lot of options. You can drag an image from your computer if you're selecting a computer image. If you know an image you want, you can copy and paste the web code for that. You can look in your picture albums. You can look at Google Drive. You can look at what's shared with you, all those different things. Um, but you can also select search. So I know that for this book, I need something with the Nigerian flag on it because that's kind of what this book is about. So I'm going to type in Nigerian flag and I'm going to take a look for the one that I want. Now, I just really want a nice simple one. I don't want anything that looks a little crazy or anything. So I'm going to just select this very first one. I think it looks nice and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to hit select. That's going to put your image in here and it's going to be huge and crazy and big and not what you need. So the first thing you need to pay attention to is resizing it. I'm going to bring this down a little bit. And then remember that rotation button. I want it to be rotated this way. So I'm going to see how that looks on my book. So I'm going to put that in there. Now, I still think that's a little big, so I'm going to make it smaller. There. I think that's a lot better. Now, if you take a note of all of these blue lines that are all around, they're showing you your spacing and how all of the things work with one another. So there, that's how you get an image into your... Um, book cover and how you manipulate it. Additionally, as I'm looking at this flag, I don't think it's easy enough to see that white in the middle. So I want to create a border on the flag. Well, I'm going to go to border weight and I'm going to do a one point border. I don't mind if the border is black around it and now my flag looks really nice and bold.